hear that Lester Maddox is afraid of dark alleys, especially one called Muhammad Alley. <laughs> dress last night. Somebody painted my lamp post. I have a patient who suffers from a spit personality, and now I'm having a little problem collecting my fee. He keeps telling me he thought the other guy paid the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how bad things are getting at my school. We had a creative writing contest, and the winning entry was the wall in the boys' washroom. <laughs> I, I'm a little concerned about the way our precinct captain uh, hands out assignments. He goes down the line saying, this little piggy gets traffic, this little piggy gets foot patrol. <laughs> Later, while no one was looking... A lot of kids today must want to be cowboys. You see so many of them rolling their own cigarettes. <laughs> How you doing, Chubbs? <laughs> Problem. We sure do. I mean, every time we ask for more progress towards equality, somebody says, wait, wait. Now, that's a weight problem. <laughs> right on. How would you like to come up to my place and watch the big game? Who's playing? You, I hope. <laughs> is really frustrating. Just last week, I ended up on the cutting room floor and I wasn't even in the movie. Boy, those floors are slippery. There are many people who say that President Nixon will be reelected because he'll end the war in Vietnam by 1972. Maybe if we move the election up a year, he'll end the war in 1971. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw this year's Miss America contest. It's amazing how much you resemble one of the participants. Oh, thanks. Uh, Which one? Bert Parks. <laughs> you look like a market opening. I'm teaching a beautiful young housewife how to play my favorite game. Today we worked on ground strokes. Tomorrow I start teaching her tennis. There's a new kind of remote control for television. It's called the White House. 